What we're going to look at in this video is the AutoCAD Inventor LT 2010 built-in native translators and DWG integration. So here's an assembly of a car window that somebody's gone and modeled in Katia. And now what we want to do is take one of these brackets and import it into Inventor LT so that we can make our part drawings off of it. And you'll see inside of Inventor LT we have all kinds of native file imports including Katia, Unigraphics, SolidWorks, Pro Engineer, so we can import virtually any kind of part file um, that your vendors are going to be supplying to you. So we're going to go ahead and open up this bracket and once we do there's one change that we need to make. Um, we need to go in and look at one of these holes. The cable that we're going to be feeding through this hole is a little bit thicker gauge than we had initially planned so we need to increase the size of this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on this on the surface and we just want to create a slightly larger hole to feed our cable through. So I'm going to dimension this out at 2.25 millimeters, finish out this sketch, and then extrude my hole. Once I've gone ahead and done that, what I need to do is get this into a language that my shop floor speaks or my, vent, or my customer speaks. And more likely than not, that's going to be DWG. So I'm going to go ahead and create my drawing straight from the solid model here. I'm going to start by creating the base view, which is going to be the front view, and then I'm going to create a projected top view as well as an isometric view up here in the corner. Now once I've done that, I can go in and start dimensioning this, um, just as I would in AutoCAD if I was creating a normal DWG. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place uh, overall dimension here just for an, for an example. And we can also create section views or detail views or auxiliary views based on the views that we've already placed into the drawing itself. So here I'm creating a section view so we can kind of get an idea of the profile for this part. Um, go in here and then I want to dimension that hole real quick that I extruded through so we get that the right size. So now once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and save this out. And one of the other key things to note here is in Inventor LT, we can actually save the solid model out as a CATIA part file or a Parasolid file or an IGIS or a STEP as well. So we have both native import and export capabilities. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually opening up that DWG drawing that I created in Inventor and I'm opening it up in AutoCAD LT and I can go ahead, it's native DWG so I can go ahead and make any changes like deleting an extra dimension that I don't need or in this case I forgot to dimension the thickness of the part so I'm going to go ahead and create that dimension over here and then once I save this it's going to be, remain associative to my original drawing in, in Inventor so next time I open that up it's going to update with all the information I put in here so there you have it Inventor LT native CAD translators as well as DWG integration